Daniil Medvedev defeated Carlos Alcaraz at the U.S. Open to get revenge for his Wimbledon semifinal reverse. Daniil Medvedev felt he got inside Carlos Alcaraz's head during his stunning four-set victory over the Spaniard at the U.S. Open. The 2021 champion has set up a repeat of his victorious final against Novak Djokovic two years ago by pulling off a sensational win over the Wimbledon winner. Medvedev sought revenge for his Wimbledon semi-final defeat against Alcaraz by steering beyond the 20-year-old with a fantastic performance on Arthur Ashe. The Russian later dubbed it a 12 out of 10 feet display. A 7-6-6-1-3-6-6-3 victory saw Medvedev avoid the thrilling comebacks that Alcaraz has managed against other top players this year. The 27-year-old believes the key to his triumph was getting inside Alcaraz's head. Explaining his game plan, Medvedev said, Yeah, the thing is, at the U.S. Open. And I don't really know the reason. I tend to play aggressive, fast, I serve well. Probably the speed of the court that helps me. Indian Wells, I mean, that I did the final was amazing, because I basically can't hit the ball there. It has nothing to do, let's call it, with my forehand and so I beat some good guys there, some good matches, but as soon as I got someone like Carlos with his style of play, it was kind of over for me. I would generally think a court like Miami maybe I could have done the same like today. So for sure I had my plan in my head, but I kind of had the same one in Wimbledon and Indian Wells. It's just that the courts were tougher to use it. I mean, grass is completely different, so on grass it's just tougher to hit this forehand. So I am happy that I managed to get in his head. Medvedev was extremely impressed by his own display. He insisted before facing Alcaraz that he needed to be 11 out of 10 feet to win, and said afterwards that he managed to reach 12 out of 10 feet. He continued, I said I needed to play 11 out of 10. I played 12 out of 10, except the third set. That's the only way. I don't know if he's still 20 or 21, but he is so young, already two grand slams, world number one for many weeks. It's honestly just pretty unbelievable and I think nobody has done it before him. To beat him, you need to be better than yourself and I managed to do it.